You brought up the point of consistency and doing the same thing. I mean, that is something that you and I both preach over and over and over again is the most important thing is not, you know, the performance you do on one day or one race. It's the consistency. It's showing up all the time. So but yet if we consistently do the same thing over and over, we'll get the same results and sometimes even backslide. So what's going on? Yeah. So there's this is delves into the whole, like, how do you periodize your training? How do you arrange your training years? What kinds of training are you pursuing in different blocks and different months and different phases of your training? And there's a difference between being consistent and putting in the work day in, day out, not every day, take a rest day, uh, but you know, <laughs> day in, day out, week over week, month over month, year over year, that is not the same thing as doing the exact same thing every time you go mm. for a run. So if you are equating consistency with like every time I go for a run, I'm consistently running five miles at this pace every single time I run, that's that's only going to take you so far because yeah, you're consistently doing the exact same thing. That's not the point of consistency in your training though. Consistency in training means that you are training properly consistently over long periods of time. And that's going to be mm -hmm. runs of varying intensity levels, a lot of easy effort runs, definitely some fast running in there, runs of different lengths, workouts that have different purposes, depending on what you're training for, what race you're pursuing at the moment. So just because you are running most days doesn't mean you're doing the same thing every single time you go for a run. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about the runner who's been running for a few years, you know, let's say five years, Do does two, three marathons a year, just loves it totally. This is, this is her jam and is totally into it. And those PRs used to come over and over every race used to come and then they're not coming anymore. <laughs> they're, they're getting, you know, either, you know, maybe a minute or they're getting a little slower. They're sliding back. What, what are some of the top things? that we can do if we are doing the basics right what are some of the top things we can do to add some spice into our training and you know mix things up yeah this is a great question let's do the hypothetical athlete right let's let's flesh yeah. out this this athlete a little bit so let's say that this runner and pulling from and i'm sure claire you've seen this kind of standard athlete profile you know running for let's say five to seven years started out at shorter distances adult runner first marathon let's say it was a 430 and now they're now they're at like 330 or 325 but they've been there for like cycle after cycle after cycle and they're like yeah. i really want to get i want to get close to like three hours right like i think i can do it i've made such great progress why am i not there yet um and first we always want to make sure is the training appropriate right for some runners mm -hmm. what has worked for them in the past is not going to work for them in the future and that could be they might need to run a little bit more volume. I hesitate to say that more volume is always the answer. For some people in some situations, running more is the answer though. However, if this runner is already running 60, 70, 80 miles a week, uh, running more is probably not the answer unless they're you know really going after elite status. In this case, running less might be the answer because when we want to mm -hmm. look at not necessarily just the training, we need to look at the recovery aspect of all of this. Are they recovering from the training that they're doing? Is their training intensity balanced? Are they strength training? Are they strength training so much that it's impacting their ability to run the way they want to? Are they eating enough? Are they fueling their runs? Are they sleeping consistently and well? Do they have unexplained periods of, you know, weight loss or weight gain or mood fluctuations or period like uh, symptoms of burnout? Like all of these things. So if we say the training is is what it is, like the training looks good on paper, then we have to figure out the other stuff because it's not just about the running, it's about the recovery because without the recovery, you're never gonna progress. 